Welcome back to a new machine learning tutorial. In this video, we are going to be talking about ridge regression. We are going to talk about the logic behind the algorithm, and then we are going to code it using Python scikit-learn. Let's start coding. I will be using VS Code in this tutorial, but you can use any code editor that you want. What I'm going to do is I'm going to close this welcome page in here. Then I'm going to create a file like ridge regression dot ipymb and let's create a title like let's say ridge regression and let's start by talking about the concept so ridge regression is a type of linear regression that adds a penalty let's type the important keywords and we are going to talk about the math behind that too adds a penalty to the magnitude of the coefficients to prevent overfitting this penalty is called l2 regularization and it discourages the model from fitting too closely to the training data which can happen especially when the model has many predictors by adding this penalty ridge regression improves the models generalization to unseen data so before diving into the coding let's first understand the mathematical foundation of ridge regression and ridge regression modifies the linear regression cost function by adding a penalty term that is proportional to the square of the coefficients so ordinary least squares cost function for the linear regression is we can write it like this is going to be our coefficients inside the brackets and we are going to do the m in here is the number of training examples and we will say y true minus y prediction the power of two so this is going to be our cost function for the ordinary least squares and our ridge regression is going to let's say ridge regression improvement is going to do I'm going to be pasting it it's going to be same and actually we can delete the space it's meaningless and in ridge regression we are going to add a penalty term and it's going to be having the regularization parameter and we are going to take the sum of the coefficient squared like this like this so this is going to be our ridge regression formula and the alpha in here is a regularization parameter and it controls the strength of the penalty. The larger alpha is, the more the model coefficients are shrunk towards zero. So again, why we are using it? We want overfitting prevention and like this. And in data sets with multicollinearity or many features, ordinary least squares can fit the noise leading to overfitting. Ridge regression adds bias, which reduces the variance, leading to better performance on new data. And the other reason is st stable coefficient estimates. Like ridge regression ensures that the coefficients do not become too large, which stabilizes the model. And now we can start coding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say from scikit-learn.datasets import make regression for dataset creation and then I will say from scikit-learn.model selection import train test split I'm going to import from scikit-learn.linear model reach which is the topic of our video and I will say from scikit-learn.matrix import mean squared error it's going to be our model evaluation metric and then we are going to create our data set I will say x and y I will use make regression method and number of samples let's create a thousand then I'm going to set my number of features as two if you think it like a data frame we are going to have two x values and I'm going to set the noise as 10 so when I call the x you are going to see the matrix we have in this way and when I call the y you are going to see the vector we have so we have these values right now the next step is going to be applying train test split so I will say x train x test y train and y test and I will use train test split I will add x y and I'm going to set my test size as 0.2 and I have a tutorial on that on my machine learning tutorials playlist where I have videos just like this one I have more than 40 videos you can check that playlist for a full tutorial on this concept to a test split but I'm going to explain it real quick firstly we split our data into training and testing sets like 
let me type that training and testing sets and training set we have is the x train and y train and testing set we have is the x test with y test so we are going to be training our model with the x train and y train then we are going to use our model for making predictions we are going to use x test on the predictions and we are going to compare our predictions on the y test because we are going to be evaluating on the true y values and by setting the test size as 0.2 we are doing 20% to 80% split 20% is going to be in the test set which means that we have 1000 samples 800 is going to be in the training set and 200 is going to be in the testing set so just a quick recap and now I will say ridge regression and I will use ridge we are going to talk about its parameter and how we can tune it to, but not right now. I will say ridge regression dot fit x train and y train. Again, we are training our model with training data we have after the initialization of the ridge. Now, in the next step, we are going to make predictions with our model. We trained our ridge regression, so I will say ridge regression dot predict x test like this. And now we are going to have this kind of vector. We have these values. I'm going to store them into something like y prediction. And then I'm going to say mean squared error is going to be our evaluation metric. Y test with y prediction. So the actually not a Q sign like this. And our mean squared error is going to be 108. So I'm not going to be talking about evaluating this value. Like it can be good or bad depending on your case. And you can evaluate it like you can say import numpy as mp then you can call aggregation functions like mean on the y and you can see the mean value standard deviation variance you can evaluate it like this but this is not the topic of our video so let's continue with the review regression we are going to do hyperparameter tuning right now and remember that we have this alpha parameter the regularization parameter in here so let's tune it if alpha value is too large, the model can underfit. If it's too small, the model can overfit. And we can find the best model using a method called grid search, which is going to try out the different values and return us the best performing one in our grid. So I will say from scikit-learn.model selection import grid search cross validation, then we are going to define hyperparameter grid. We are going to only give single value like alpha and I will say numpy box space minus three actually let's say minus five and five and let's say ten like this so let me quickly show you what this returns and it's going to return us an array like this one so I'm going to make this run next up I'm going to initialize the ridge regression model again like this and now it's time for setting the grid search like grid search is going to be grid search cross validation estimator is going to be ridge regression and parameter grid is going to be the parameter grid we have and let's set cross validation as five so cross validation means that the amount in here is going to be the folds that we are going to have like we are going to split the data into five parts and then we are going to train our data on the remaining four folds and we are going to test our result in the one fold we have i have a tutorial on that too in my machine learning playlist you can check that from the cards of this video if you want to learn more about the topic and scoring is going to be the negative mean squared error and now we set our grid search it's time for fitting it we will say grid search dot fit x train with y train and now we can get best parameters like grid search the best parameters and here is the picked one in here and we can just set the best model like grid search best estimator and now we can use the methods we have like in normal regression like we can use like let's say predict and we can use the model for prediction like this one and we can store it in something like y prediction tuned is going to be this 
and let's call the mean squared error on y test and y prediction. So again, the same typing mistake. Here is our mean squared error on the, actually not on the tuned model. I'm going to say tuned like this. And now we are going to have our model. So let's check if we have any improvement on the base model. It's 108.02 and in here we have 108 and 10. So we have an improvement because the lower mean squared error you have, the better your model is. You can think it like the error distance and the lower values means the better models. So this is how we can do tuning on the alpha parameter. Let's recap what we talked and then we can finish the tutorial. We talked about the logic behind the ridge regression and we write the cost function of the ordinary least squares. Then we talked about this added parameter with alpha as the regularization parameter. This is the coefficients. And we talked about why we use it for overfitting prevention and stable coefficient estimates. Then we imported make regression from scikit-learn. We imported train test split from scikit-learn. We imported ridge and mean squared error two. Then we created our data with thousand samples, two X features and 10 noise. Then I showed you the X and Y matrix and vector. Then I showed you how we can do train test split. And we talked about the logic behind that quickly. Then we initialized the ridge in here. We trained the model. Then we make predictions and store them. We get the mean squared error. Next up, we imported grid search, grid search cross validation for parameter tuning. I showed you how we can define a space like this. Then we define our parameter grid. We initialized it again and we set our grid search using this object estimator, ridge regression, parameter grid, parameter grid, cross validation five, and scoring is negative mean squared error. Then we fitted it. We take a look at the best parameter selected, the best performing one, then we save it like this, and then we get the tuned result on predictions, and we get the mean squared error on Y test and Y prediction tuned, and it's 108.02. We improved the base model's performance by hyperparameter tuning. Thanks for watching this tutorial on ridge regression. I have a playlist named machine learning tutorials where I have more than 40 videos just like this one. You can reach that playlist from the cards of this video or from the link in the description. I'm sharing new data science videos every week on my channel. You can subscribe for more videos like this. Have a great day.